Hello everybody, happy Friday. Again, super weird time of day that I'm on, I know, but I have to take advantage. There's, well, my children are home, but they're sleeping. So everybody else is out of the house and we're going golfing later. So I was like, I'm jumping on now and doing this. So today, as I promised you, I wanted to show these things because I wanted you to be able to see them before I do my class advertisements. If you missed it, I've already put up the class thing for the Christmas countdown one that I showed yesterday. Hello, Brenda. So today we're gonna do the Joy of Giving Tag Project Kit. Now I'm gonna warn you in advance, I am not doing this whole kit because it is large. Hi, April. I know, super weird time of day. Hi, Core. Okay, so when you open up this kit, yay, instruction sheet, yes, super important. Hi, Pam. Um, and then, even better, check that out. Woo, woo, stamp set, gets better, are you ready? flip it open. Oh look, I have the ink color that I need. Okay, so we've got the Poppy Parade. And I'm going to continue opening. Now, I have my clear block ready to go. Um, and I also grabbed my larger Poppy Parade just for the sake of me moving faster. I know, total Friday surprise, but everybody's out of my house right now. My parents had a meeting with their builder today so they had to be somewhere at 8 30 and then we're going golfing with the kids and my dad so I thought I would sneak this in before I went and then my husband comes back today Yay! but then I go home in two days okay so we've got this gorgeous box um I did get some sleep last night thank you Becky I did um now this box is not metal okay so it's cardboard but it is awesome nice and sturdy we're going to open it up and we're going to see what's inside so we've got um two sheets of mini dimensionals and I have got, what does that look like? Shaded spruce? I can't even remember. I don't even, well, yeah, yeah, it looks like shaded spruce. Okay, so we're going to move this off to the side because we really don't, I don't want to schmuck the box up. Okay, so I'm going to grab my paper snaps. Oh, look at that. I don't need a block. You guys, this is like the perfect class because you, okay, as a customer, you could have everything you need. You need nothing else for this kit. So get rid of my block because you would have your own ink spot. You would have your own block. Hello, Jenny. Okay, you have your own ink block. You got your own dimensionals here. Everything you need, your stamp set, it's all in here. Okay, Cor, can I give you a job? Can you go check the price for me on this one again? <laughs> Corey's like, assistant, was the dog not feeling well? Yes, well, apparently, because you know, Harley hasn't had enough issues. He's also got acid reflux, but he had an amazing night. She just gave us an antacid that he takes with his supper and then a special thing just to kind of coat his little esophagus for the next week while we kind of heal. Okay, we've got glue dots too. Cheese, Louise peeps, we are like dialed. Good morning, Debbie. Okay, so I am gonna give you a little bit of advice. One thing that I do notice when I use any kind of a new um, photopolymer stamp is that it has got a bit of a, I don't know how else to say it. It's got like a film, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of white cardstock, so I wanna show you this. Oh, look at this. It's got a cute little monster on it that I was coloring. Does that count? Okay, we're not doing the monster, so just ignore that. Now, what I am going to do is I'm just going to ink it up. Thank you, Corey says it's $48, so it includes your stamp set, your uh, block, your ink. We're going to ink it up. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. Don't do that. And then we're going to stamp it. Okay, so you can see it there. Now, it is not supposed to be a big solid one. I want you to know that right now, okay? So you can see in it, it's got like the kind of little like ch -ch -ch in it to make it look a little bit worn out, super cute like that. But what I want to show you, and it might not make any difference with this one, but we'll check. Okay, so I'm gonna clean him off. Okay, got him nice and clean. Now, the very first time that I use them, you can give them a little clean like we just did and kind of get the film off, but I've also found over time that this works well. And I just do it the very first time I use them. So don't think you have to like verse mark every stamp you own. So I take it or every time you ink it and then I go like this. And I don't know if you can see, but how fast the ink kind of clung. Does that work? Can you say that? I don't know what it is in the US, Becky. I don't have a US calendar or a catalog. You'd have to check yours in the US, hon. Okay. Oh, so yeah, it's not a ton different, but you can see. Um, anyway, so I do do that. I do do. <laughs> I do that when I am using especially bigger stamps and maybe more solid images where I really want them to kind of get the lines. Okay, good. Lesson done. Ta -ta. 
Okay, so next thing we're going to do is let's make one of each one today. We are not making them all. So this one uh, will be available at my retreat, so they'll be able to do this little card kit. Now, let me see. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six different tags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of this tag. Does that mean we're making 60 tags? Woo, that is a good deal. Sweet. Oh, yeah, so Becky, check in with your demo in the States, and they would be able to give you a catalog, and they would be able to tell you pricing on it, okay, huh? Okay, so here we go. Let's look at the instructions. So Angela's version of looking at instructions is right here on the back. Oh, no, no, 10. There's only three different designs. One, two, three designs. 10, 30. We're making 30 tags. Okay, here we go. So we have got, which one are we going to do first? Let's take, I don't know, you. You're super cute. Okay, so we've got this one here. Love it. And I love, okay, so we're going to do this guy. And it looks like what he is going to get is he is going to get this one here. Does that look right to you? Yeah, it looks right to me. Do you think I have to ask? I can't like actually figure this one out in my own head. I'm going to pop out the bit. Now, it looks like it is going on. Okay, so did they actually, here, we should look at instructions. This is called Christmas tag. So let's look at Christmas tag. Let's see, does it actually say Christmas tag? It Well, no, it doesn't. See, I'm just checking through, checking what we're doing. No, it doesn't really say anything. Okay, all good. It's kind of like a free-for-all. So I feel like with this one, the only thing you've got to take note of, is, oh, that goes that way, that's why. And then it lines up. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. The only thing you are gonna do, it looks like this tag's gonna go on with dimensionals. So you're going to, you're SU cute. Um, we're gonna have to put the twine through before we adhere it. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Because look, if I glue that down, now I can't put twine in. So if I put this up on a dimensional on here, then I can, okay? Are you following me? Good, because I'm not following myself. So I'm gonna get one of those. I'm gonna get, do I use you for something? What are you for? I don't know. Do I use you? Are we gonna have cool extra bits? Because I feel like we use the outline of this one. Let's go to this one. Come here, I'm just gonna talk to myself. Mar Thank you, Martha. Martha says it's 35. There you go, Becky. Okay. I did that, pull you out, come here, out you come. Okay, so that means I can get rid of all the same, check. Okay, we have one reindeer, pull them out, check. We have that guy, pull them out, check. Do you like this? So I can move this out of the way so people don't think we're making monsters today. Okay, we want this, those are all the same, check. We want this, those are all the same. Whoosh. I'm gonna keep out one sheet of those, they're stickers. We're gonna need one of these. Do, do, do. Pull this guy out. Okay, and then on these sheets again, I'm gonna pull out one of you and one of you. Oh, I think we did it. Do you think we made it? Okay, so I'm making myself nervous with the Poppy Parade ink pad that is sitting out by my elbow. Let's move that up high. Okay, I'm gonna do this. You ready? So it looks like the first thing we're gonna do is we've got this already, so we're gonna do nice on this one. Now, I don't, I'm lazy. I don't feel like changing blocks every time that I do this. So I am gonna grab this guy. And then it looks like we're gonna put in, there's gonna be dots. Let's find the dots. Oh, there's the dots. Okay, so we're gonna pull off the dots. Need to get my own crafting going. Good, totally procrastinate. Well, don't procrastinate, go play. But um, I'm procrastinating because what I should be doing right now is getting stuff out. Okay, don't die of shock, anyone who knows me. I should be getting stuff out for supper. Yes, I know. Can you believe it? Uh, I'm doing pulled pork sandwiches in the slow cooker, so I have to have them in before I head out golfing. Okay, focus. Something shiny, Ange. Um, nice, nope, you're on this one. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna give them a little scrub on my chamois just to make sure and then we're gonna ink him up nice. We're gonna ink him up nice, get it? <laughs> Such a dork. Okay, now this one. I love that they're kind of not an even um, ink distribution on them. They have like this kind of modely effect. It makes it look oh, super cute and super non-stressful to ink because you're not worried if it's not like perfect, perfect. Love that. I can cook. I choose not to cook, Mir. Don't like cooking. That's so bad. I know. I'm going to hell. Okay, we'll do those two. And you know what? Sean doesn't mind cooking. It's like Sean says. 
fire hall. He could have just done his Molly made. And if chef's training, well, I'm just kidding. My husband works his butt off at work, but we always tease him that that's kind of his thing. Okay, so here, this guy's gonna fold over. This one does not look complicated. Now we do, you gotta pop your bits out, peeps. So where is my, where did I take a pick tool? How is he not here? Oh, where did I put him? That's really weird. Oh, there it is. I usually keep them in the zone in front of me. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Yes, uh, are you cooking with your mom there in shot? I know, okay, so Corey's like, Angie's mom, my mom's an amazing cook. Um, and my husband's coming. But yes, I feel really guilty because he drives four hours to get back here and really, and a slow cooker, come on. It's, I threw everything in a pot. It's not like it's actually rocket science. I can pull it off. Okay, so we got that one and we got its bit. Yes, again, it's going on with dimensionals because that that um, twine in there is in behind the, what's it called? It's in behind the tag, okay? Now we do have some gold on here. Oh, and we also have to stamp you've been. Okay, not just you've been, you've been very nice. Okay, so let's pull off. I just pulled off nice. Get it? Oh my God, I am such a dork today. I really should not be talking. It's too early in the morning. Okay, you ready? So we're gonna ink this up. You've been very. And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna get it as straight as I, I feel like it needs more ink. Can, nobody breathe, shh. Hold it. The you could, or the, not the you, but well, the word you, the Y could have used a little bit more, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Poke it out. Okay, next, sticker. Let's see how these bad boys peel. So something I have kind of learned to do over time when I have finicky ones is you kind of go through and you push down. Oh, it doesn't want to come out in the corner there. Okay, so this is, this is good because this is what I like to test out before I do a class because I want them to know where they might want to be a bit more careful. Where I can't see how this thing loops. Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. So the, the your stickers are very fine. I'm gonna peel it from the bottom. Come here, you. <gasps> These are gonna give me ulcers. <laughs> oh, look at them. <laughs> okay, but you make us happy. Okay, so we're gonna peel that up the bottom. And then peel it back off my finger. I don't want to tear it. They're like a very, they're not delicate. I shouldn't say they're delicate feeling. They're delicate looking. And my hands, I was just cleaning sink. So they're super dry right now from the cleaner. And I feel like things are like sticky, sticky to my fingers. Okay, I have to center this. So we're going to go like that. Peel it off my finger. I'm just going to use you because I don't want it to stick to my finger again. Oh, now I got to stick into the take a pick tool. Not that that matters because it's going to get hidden. Okay, so we got that part down. Oh, your cat apparently loves the ticket. I wonder why. Do you think they rub it in catnip first, Cor? Okay, now I could use my mini dimensionals or I could just cheat and use my big ones that are already open on my desk. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to go like this. And we're going to peel those off. Come here, you. Okay, let's put this one on here. Am I talking quieter than normal? I feel like I'm, I always feel guilty waking up my kids in the summer. And I know that's so bad because like seriously, your teenagers get up. But I remember how much I loved sleeping in in the summer. And I think that's it. Like that was like the be all and end all. And sometimes I'm like, okay, I know they just missed half the day. when my dad, 15 year old wakes up at 11. But when he goes to bed at 10 o'clock and wakes up at 11, I'm like, you kind of needed it then. You wouldn't sleep that long. Mind you, maybe if I stopped letting him sleep that long, he'd stop growing and stop eating. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we've got that one. It smells like you. We used to have a dog that stole nail files. Oh, is that it? I thought you were telling me it smells like me, but she's talking about Corey. Okay, not that it smells like Corey, but that's because the tool smells like Corey. Oops. Stick you on. Can you see? My hands are so dry. I'm sorry. They're probably making like scratchy noises even on the paper. Okay, I've got this really cool white, I think it's called a farmhouse sink. So it's a big sink here. Um, 
but you get little kind of scratches on it. And I have to use this stuff called barkeepers. Get this barkeepers or bartender's secret, bartender's secret, barkeeper's secret, something like that. And it gets all the little scratch marks off the white. It's probably super corrosive, highly toxic, going to remove my skin from my hands. <gasps> Look at that one, so cute. Now, I do not tie these until I'm ready to put them on a present because then I find it's easier for me to kind of get them in and do my little tie job, okay? So that one's super cute. Let's pull out the next one. So this was the one that I was trying to figure out because it was like rocket science to me. Now this one's gonna get two gold stickers and we need to stamp this one with Hava and Merry Christmas, and I have a Merry. And then Christmas. Okay, what block do I have? Let's pull this one. Okay, put this down on the table so that you don't like fend angle it. Yes, you don't want to kind of wing it around and get um, it all crooked when you do it. Okay, so put you down here and Kim up. I feel like that's really, I, I can see the drips where I re-inked it. And I apparently, I would a drip. I didn't re-ink it very evenly. Okay. There. Ta -da. Okay, we did that one. Now I'm gonna come in. Sorry, I turned my face. Someone said that that's bad because they can't hear me normally. Hi, Lisa. And we're gonna do just a little Christmas one. Where are you? We're sticking Christmas on the tag. Oh, this is tight. He goes like end to end, peeps. Okay, so let's try it. Will he fit on there? Yeah, he will. I'm gonna do him diagonally, which you might think is weird, but I actually can line it up quite easily. Okay, so I'm gonna give this guy a little scrub, just in case, ink him up. Now, I keep missing, is it my left side I keep missing? No, nope, it was my right side on the second one. Like, maybe I, I don't stamp evenly. Okay, let's see if we can do this. <gasps> this one stresses me out. It's kind of small. The tag's small, not the stamp. Puppy now will steal one of my shoes to sleep with. Oh, that's so cute. Harley steals socks. He doesn't like do anything, doesn't chew them. He just like carries them away. And Sean had this issue when he was at the fire hall and Harley would get to go and Harley would steal. Sean had to make sure that the other guys knew to put their socks away. See, nothing like being able to say to people, well, if you'd put your socks away, the dog wouldn't have stole them. Okay, come here, you. These ones. <laughs> we have to do two on this one, you guys. Okay, hang on, I'm going in. We're going in with this. We're gonna poke you again. Out. Out down the spot. So do it on the other side too. It really likes the last little hook. You got it, peeps? You gotta separate your last hook. Okay. I'll see if I can do this. Oh, it's so stuck to my fingers. You ready? So this one is gonna line up with this. Put you down. Then this actually works super well because you can adjust your little bits. <laughs> You normally shouldn't use a poker to adjust your bits. I just came on. How are you doing with the stickers? Okay, so Jennifer, I'm super good. If I use my take a pick tool is what I'm finding. So look, you can, I feel like I'm like a surgeon. Hey, did anyone ever use to play that? What was that game called? Operation. Okay, so if I use my take a pick tool, I'm doing really well. I was saying my hands are insanely dry right now. So I am finding that with my dry hands, things are sticking to them. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in. So uh, Jen, I don't know if you've already done it. Um, it was the, it's this little corner right there that I that's where I keep getting fandangled in. Oh, okay, pull the top. Pull. Come on, you. Come on, somebody pull. Pull, pull. Okay, so again, do what I said. I'm gonna take it in. Okay, and I know some people get really frustrated with stuff like this. You absolutely. I get that. And you could skip them, but I think they look stinking awesome. So I'm not skipping them. I'm going to exercise patience. Oh, my hands, make my hands stop. They sting right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, one of the beasts is looking from their bedroom. Hi, child. I'm doing a Facebook Live. Don't come in and say anything awful. Oh, it's dancing. You can't see it. It being the younger one. The younger one's a bit, I'm not gonna lie, and Lukey, I'm telling them this, the, my younger one's a bit of a cheese ball. He's his mother. Oh yeah, see, here, look what I did. I tucked one of them under. So I'm gonna pull him up a little bit. Okay, well whatever, that one's staying, so I'm just gonna cover it. Okay, you ended up using the stamps. Oh, do we have a stamp that's got it? Ha, peeps, look at that. You could use that. And then we've got our new gold ink. Look at you go, Jen. 
Smarty Pants. You're like, what do you mean we have gold ink? Do you want to see it? Hi, child. I love you. How was your sleep? Where's your switch? No, it's not. No, it's not. I have my children are not allowed to take their devices into the room, but somebody did last night because when I got up this morning, I didn't have it. Wait, you what? It was not. You lie like a cheap rug. You do. Okay, you ready? Max, go back to this. We'll pop on later. Well, yes, because you know you might have to watch me do a silver or gold sticker for a half hour. I'm just kidding. That, but I've got now gold sticker stuck to everything. We have to get the golf clubs out from the basement. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Jennifer just Jennifer's laughing at you for getting busted, LG. Yeah, it was upstairs in your room. We, I, I did let them have their devices over the summer in their rooms, but a week out, I was like, okay, it's time to go back into school mode. Those have to go back in mom and dad's room. Okay. They can't monitor. Does, is anyone else's child able to self-monitor? Mine cannot. Mine are like, uh, I would be on it all night long. But in the summer, I wasn't stressed out because they didn't have to be up, but I also know it's not good for their sleeping habits. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in here and we are going to do da, da, super cute, love it. Okay, let's do the last one. I feel, I feel like the last one is going to be my favorite one, except for the fact that he has two gold tags, people. Okay, so we've got this and we've got this and we've got a reindeer. We have to get off two golds. Are you ready? No stamping on this one? No, okay, I'm gonna close this up. Here we go. So what I'm wondering is, oh, I just stabbed myself. In case you missed that, I physically just stabbed myself through the paper with the take a pick tool. Yours has, ah, yes, got you. Okay. I'm coming on. Oh, I got him. Except, oh, the garbage trucks. Okay, so here's the deal. You're gonna hear barking. I can't prevent it right now, and I apologize. I should have thought of that. It's Friday. The garbage man is outside picking up garbage, and it's not gonna be Harley, it's not gonna be the puppy that barks, or he's not a puppy. It's going to be the 14-year-old dog that barks because he is convinced every time that the garbage man is stealing something that we desperately need. The garbage man is out there and he is stealing, well, that was a good one, our garbage. And you gotta watch those garbage men. I miss the old days when we were being bad for taking our books. I know, okay, Corey, you wanna hear a funny story? Corey's, so Corey's like, yeah, we used to get busted for taking our books to bed. Can you imagine now how happy parents would be if their kids were getting busted for like reading in bed? Um, Corey lit my pillow on fire once. <laughs> so bad. Okay, so we talk about devices and the dangers and like the, the charging cords lighting on fire and you shouldn't take them to bed and blah, blah, blah. So when I was a teenager, I, of course, you were not supposed to stay up all night long reading, which I did do. I was a total readaholic as a teenager. And so I took my book to bed and I had my light and I took off oops, um, the lampshade. No, it was not on my head. It was not dancing around with a lampshade on my head, people. Um, but I took off the lampshade. Sorry, I have to get this off my finger. Um, and so put the bear, you know, the bear bulb, which is like, the, and remember in the old days, guys, those bulbs, they got stinking. Oh my God, I just did it again. This is so comical. I'm such a spaz. Um, they got stinking hot. And so I took the bear bulb and I tucked it underneath my pillow. And whoops, I have to focus for a second. Um, the other one was like easy breezy. This one is like, I'm gonna fight you, lady. Yeah. Come on, and I got a gold piece stuck in there. Um, I, all of a sudden, it was like, I don't know, two in the morning and I'm reading my, what did I used to read? The Girls of Canby Hall. I didn't even ever read those. Anyway, so I'm reading those and all of a sudden I'm like, what's that burning smell? And so, yeah, maybe Debbie, you could totally try tweezers. Um, we, uh, I, all of a sudden, I, obviously I smell the smoking smell and I'm like, what is that? And then I realized that my pillow is like black. So obviously my pillow was lighting on fire. Thank goodness it didn't, or I smelt it before and didn't fall asleep reading. Mind you, I don't think I really did fall asleep reading. I would just read until I got caught. Um, anyway, but try explaining that one to your mother the next day, why your pillow, pillowcase, and the pillow cover 
are all burnt. Did I get all these off as I went? No, just that one. I have zero memory. You know what? The stickers, I don't if you're sitting and yakking with people, well, kind of like I'm doing right now. Oops, don't forget. Oh, I stuck the dimensional behind it. Okay, that's going to be difficult. Go like that, pop you out. Um, I forgot to put the string through, so we'll do that now, which is good. Um, the, uh, what's it called? What did I just say? I don't even know. Lost. Awesome. If you're sitting and yakking with someone, the stickers aren't a big deal because I'm not really noticing them other than I hope I'm not boring you to death as I play with them on my fingers. But yes, that is, uh, they are a little bit finicky. Okay. I do love the green twine. I'm okay. I'm not going to lie. There's one thing I was missing from the catalog. I am a bit twine obsessed. I love a little bit of twine kind of on everything. Little bow here, little bow there. And I don't have a lot of twine now. So I was able, you kind of with all the kits and stuff, like the, the little tag kit that we've got in the annual catalog, you're kind of able to make up for that. Cause we do have some really cute twines. Okay. Last one. All right. Come in here. We're going to stick that cute little reindeer right now. If you missed it, we actually have a reindeer stamp right in the kit. So you've got that same cute little reindeer. So just a second, I want to find that gold ink pad for you. Where did I put them? I got the ink pads. There they are. So if you were not understanding what she was mentioning, let me show you. We've got this one. Okay, let's open it because I'm keep, I have not got to play with it. I have not got to play with anything. Okay, so we've got a gorgeous gold ink pad. Now, the only thing I have been told, do you want me to stamp with it? Do you want to see it? The one thing I have been told about the gold ink pads or the silver or the copper that we've got is that you're going to want to allow for a bit more drying time. So you're seeing this happen like live, live with me. So I've never used this either. So if you're a customer and you're like, okay, what's it, how's it going to be? How's it going to work? Let's check. Do you like this? We were doing a tag kit. Now I'm giving you a lesson on something I don't know how to use, but that's okay. Okay. So I'm inking him up. Oh, oh, can you see that? Can you see the good coverage? Love. Okay. So let's just stamp him. Oh, he stamps really nicely. I can tell because I'm not getting any weird. Oh, <gasps> Look at you guys. Okay, so there's the gold. Love. Now, your only thing you're going to have to pay attention to, as I've been told, is it does take a little bit longer to dry. So don't go <laughs> sticking your finger in there and smudging them all around. Make sure that you, you could either heat set it. Oh my God, I'm in love. <gasps> um, make sure you either heat set it or you um, just give it some extra time. Now, I want to check something. Just a minute. I can't show you the catalog, so I'm kind of like doing it off. Uh, no, Christine, there is not a possibility of refill. So that was a really good question, but I feel like we've got some extra bits minus the tags. Um, we do have some extra bits in there and I feel like with the stamps and the kind of designs we've got, I could knock some extra ones out of the park. I'm trying to find, Hey Cord, do you know what page those uh, ink pads are on? I want to find out how much they are. So, oh, there they are. Okay, I can't show you the inside of the catalog yet. We're getting close, okay, peeps? But those ink pads are 15. Oh, that's not bad. So there's a celestial copper, there's a golden glitz, and a silvery shimmer ink pad. But you can do all of those, and then you could absolutely, like, instead of doing uh, that gold little sticker swirl, if it makes you crazy, you, what did I do with the stamp set? Okay, there it is. You've got other kind of flourishes in here that you could do for your own gold and then you can make your own little tags like for the center of there and I could do that by doing a white circle and then a gold circle and with a punch on my layering circles and then another piece of white that's got the gold reindeer on and um, that's just you know you could do the recreate the poppy parade with a piece of cardstock with a corner rounder um, so you can really play with those and kind of create your own little tags and I love that all those stamps are like tag sized yes even right down here, look at this one. So even right down to little flourishes on this one, check this out. So you've got like these for the ends, the little branches. And I don't know if you've all seen the holiday catalog, we've got some gorgeous dies that are quite ornate that you could make some really pretty Christmas tags with, okay? So there you go, so you're gonna get 30 tags. You're gonna get a stamp, uh, a stamp set, you're gonna get an ink spot, and you're gonna get your own block as well as the box in there for that 48. Okay, people? Anyway, have an amazing day, and thanks so much for joining me today. Bye!